Hello, Jason here with Serico. Today, we're going to discuss the topic of degreasing metal parts. If your parts haven't been properly degreased, they could contain oils or residue that will prevent proper coating adhesion and may also result in blemishes in the finish. Follow along and we'll cover the best ways to degrease metal parts and prepare for coating application. First, let's take a look at why proper part prep is important. Can you tell which sheet was not properly degreased? How about now? Cracking and flaking are indications that this sheet was not properly degreased before spraying, leading to poor coating adhesion. This can also lead to blemishes and an uneven coating appearance. Now that we know why, let's dive into how. Cleaning and degreasing your parts should be the first step in the coating process. You want to do this before sandblasting so the blasting media does not become contaminated. Washing with soap and water is a good place to start if the part is caked in mud or dust. Now that we see what we're dealing with, let's determine the best approach for these three different parts. Be sure to wear nitrile or latex gloves from this point on. When dealing with chemicals and degreasers, carefully read the warning and instruction labels before use and storage. Standard practice is to soak parts for 20 to 30 minutes in a solvent-based degreasing agent such as acetone or brake cleaner. Depending on how much grease is present, a shorter or longer soak time may be required. Using a nylon brush is a good way to remove built-up grease and residue in the corners and hard-to-reach areas. We recommend soaking parts and brushing until no residue is left. You can find this degrease tank and the large and small baskets on our website. For billet or simple items with little to no surface contamination, a rinse or wipe with a multi-surface cleaning solvent such as acetone or a wax and grease remover can be sufficient. When using acetone, simply saturate a lint-free cloth and thoroughly wipe all the surfaces of the part. Acetone will rapidly evaporate without leaving any residue. When using a wax and grease remover such as Prep Ball, be sure to read and follow the provided directions. Lightly saturate a lint-free cloth and wipe the entire surface. Immediately after, wipe dry with a separate cloth to remove the solvent from the surface before it dries. This will prevent the solvent from leaving a residue. Water-based solvents, such as Simple Green, may also be used for wiping or soaking parts. Extreme Simple Green is non-caustic and specially formulated for use in parts washers. Softer metals, such as aluminum, are more susceptible to corrosion and should not be exposed for prolonged periods of time. These are a great degreasing solution because unlike solvents, they're non-flammable and fume-free, but they will leave a residue on the surface that you must rinse off with water before coating the parts. Our third part has a hardened layer of difficult to remove buildup. You can resolve this with a longer soak and some elbow grease or call in the big gun. Ultrasonic cleaners are a common tool for removing buildup in hard to reach areas. They use a high frequency sound wave to loosen debris from the parts, providing an effective and efficient degreasing process. Ultrasonic cleaners can be designed for water or solvent-based degreasing agents, depending on the model. Most will have adjustable water temperature, cleaning cycle, duration, and sound wave frequency settings, depending on the material being cleaned. Make sure you refer to the owner's manual for more information. These are a few proven degreasing methods that we recommend. There are many methods for degreasing that we didn't discuss, such as vinegar and citrus cleaners. Feel free to try different methods and share your experience in the comments. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our video about degreasing sensitive, non-metal parts, as well as a deeper dive into ultrasonic cleaners. Thanks for watching, see you next time.